So here we have Mike Compton, really excited to have him uh, on this call and also excited to have him uh, at Camp Tomb Fox, May 15th through 19th, 2019 in Montreat, North Carolina, which is right outside of Asheville. Um, Mike is known for his Monroe playing style with a heavy blues influence and old time music background. He's played with John Hartford, Nashville Bluegrass Band, David Greer, jo Joe Newberry, among many others, pretty much every musician <laughs> that I know of he's played with. Um, and we want to have him at Toon Fox Camp because Mike is self-taught by ear and he teaches this way. And we're excited for students to learn with a master of traditional styles and to learn these styles orally through him. Um, anything you want to add to your bio, Mike? Uh, um, I, well, let's see. I, I worked uh, a number of things that were uh, put together by T-Bone Burnett, uh, mm. which one of which was a, a couple of years stint with Elvis Costello, which was quite a learning experience for me as far as learning how to play chords and a lot of things that I didn't know how to play already what to do when there's a drummer in the band and you know you take you take the snare drum uh roll away from a mandolin player what do you do <laughs> yeah. um i'm primarily self-taught uh by, by ear uh whenever national bluegrass band was still doing uh, quite a bit more work we did a symphony gig with uh, the Nashville Symphony here, and I I started learning how to read music again. I'm originally a trombone player, so oh, cool. <laughs> uh, I used to know how to read. I started reading again because uh, in the classical world, uh, they were they were taking cues and, and reading off the page, and and we weren't necessarily on top of the arrangement sometime because we didn't know where to come in. And I thought, well. This won't happen to me again. <laughs> so I learned to read a little bit, but in the process, I, I found out that uh, it was it was uh, helpful, but it wasn't uh, com completely necessary. But it it helps me learn tunes faster sometimes. Uh, to see, primarily, I, I do play by ear, though. Cool, cool. Well, um, I would love to have you play something for us um, if you're if you're down for that. Anything in particular, skill level? Anything, I mean, just whatever you like to play. The first thing that's come to mind this morning, and I don't know why, is uh, Long Journey Home. Yeah. Probably uh, um, Monroe Brothers are the ones that made it popular, and, and I guess people are still doing it. But it's a, a, lot, of, a lot of rhythm. Since you mentioned rhythm, um, every day at, Toon Fox, at Camp Toon Fox, we're going to have a, a theme. So, like, for example, the first day, um, first full day of learning is going to be a backup and groove. The next day is going to be all about melody. And then the final day is going to be about improvisation and creativity. Um, in, in the first day, since, you know, you mentioned the rhythm aspect of that tune, Long Journey Home, um, the first day if you had a group of like beginner pickers and you wanted to kind of tell them about groove and teach them about groove, um, what would you tell them? Um, well, to, to use that song as an example, uh, everybody pretty well is aware of that. That's a vocal and uh, a real simple way of, of adding groove to uh, a song like that is to basically just repeat the vocal with mm -hmm. the right hand. The group, okay. not it's it's not so much a left hand thing is it's lost So it accents where the vocal accents. Oh. So you basically you're just singing it on the map. Very very simple left hand positions. There's nothing difficult about this end. It's there's a G voicing, this is a G voicing, G 
washing deep, washing deep. You're using those as as your left hand resource. It all relates to the to the melody and how the vocals are. Gotcha. I mean, that's that's really easy to follow and it's and it's obvious. Yeah, yeah. If you just know like a verse of the melody, or you don't even need to know the lyrics. Really, you could just you know sing the melody of the song while you're just playing the right hand. So you're not. Yeah, as long as you can hum it, you got it. Yeah, as long, I love that. <laughs> as long as you can hum it, you got it. Yeah, that's why I tell students all the time. Well, it's just it's singing it all. I mean, that that can get a whole lot more involved and and a lot more intricate um, when you get to where you're adding. <laughs> slide in as you know as you sing your voice it's not robotic and it's not everything doesn't come in right on pitch you've got little ramps on the notes that come in and up and down <laughs> improvising now. Improvising, yeah. No, that's great, Mike. Um, thanks for sharing that little that little tidbit. Um, so, yeah. So, Camp Toon Fox is May fifteenth through nineteenth. You can learn more about this type of stuff and much more than this uh, in Mike's classes. The other mandolin teacher is Joe Walsh. So, there's going to be this nice mixture of you know traditional and blues and more progressive playing. Um, I'm really excited about the mixture of things that we have going on there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It seems like you've got a, a different approach to to uh, learning than uh, a lot of the other camps do. Because I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what what we can get into. Yeah, me too. Me too. It's going to be really fun. Um, for more information, you can go to tunefox.com/camp, um, and then you can sign up there, put in your deposit. We're keeping the class sizes really small. Um, we're only having 20 people per instrument, so there's going to be 60, 60 students total um, max. So that will mean uh, two classes of 10 people each. So you'll get some um, more kind of a one-on-one -on -one feel than you will at, um, say, other camps that have bigger class sizes. So that's you have a lot of chances to ask questions mm -hmm. and uh, encouragement or encouragement to ask questions. It's it's. Uh, it's no fun for it to be a monologue. <laughs> oh, no, I, that's a situation plenty of time. It's, uh, it's definitely more fun when it's interactive and uh, there's students playing for the instructor and then giving them feedback because chances are other students in the class have the same questions as that one student. That's yeah, asking. yeah, I'd, I'd like to encourage the, those people that are, are watching this. Uh, no question is is too stupid. Uh, if if you have a question and you don't know the answer, you need to you need to ask it because you know that that would be the time. And um, from the roster of teachers that you have, it looks like to me that they're all people who are very uh, easy to talk to and and know their stuff. Yeah, they are. They're all really easy to talk to, and I've, I've learned a lot from each of these teachers. I mean, even if you don't know, you know, this is our first time meeting, but, you know, I've listened to your music and, and um, I, <laughs> I always try to learn something from what I'm listening to. So, um, well, I, I appreciate you uh, jump, jumping on this call with me, Mike. Um, You're welcome, brother. Joining us for camp. And, yeah, we'll see you in May. Okay. Looking forward to it. Cool.